Undead 0707. There are two tools that come to mind when I think about rapidly improving. Right, you say you got some studying to do. Um, this is an SKLZ kick trainer, and the reason why it's so powerful is because you could cram months of training into days or weeks using this using this ball. Right, <clears throat> in 60 seconds you could get 60 touches, which means oh in 10 to 15 minutes walking around you could get, or just hanging out in your dorm room, whatever. You can get close to a thousand touches effortlessly, effortlessly. <sighs> breathing, right? Relaxed. Switch hands. You could get into one legged around the back, right? Around the world. Really work on your striking technique, your first touch, and work in both your feet as well as timing, rhythm, balance, coordination. So for 24 bucks, this is, um, you know, this thing packs a punch. And plus, this is not a new concept. Teams like Sevilla, Ajax, AC Milan, all encourage their youth players to use this use this ball, kick trainers. Um, Wesley Snyder talks about using a kick trainer growing up. So you you know you could also make one yourself. Size one ball, a length of rope, as long as your hip hip bone to your ankle actually like mine a little bit shorter, um, and some duct duct tape and boom, you get yourself a kick trainer. Second tool that comes to mind is an RMT rope, right? Basically it's a length of rope as long as you are tall, but you don't need, um, you don't need to buy one. You could make one yourself for as close for 10 bucks at your local hardware store. You just buy some soft rope, duct tape the ends, and what you're gonna start to do is just swing it. Breathe. And the reason why this is so powerful is because your body's connected from fingers to toes. So as you start to swing this rope around, you start to harmonize your movement. You get a better understanding of where your body is in time and space. So you could start to work on your, your balance, right? You could start to work on your rhythm, your timing, your breathing. This is gonna help your spine bend and twist. Um, this, one's a, this one's a little thicker and heavier than you need to start with. Um, here's one that's probably cost between five and eight bucks. Right, just this piece of rope, duct tape the ends. It's kind. You could use a jump rope if you have a jump rope lying around, but it's it's. But jump ropes are used in a particular way. These ropes you can use them like jump ropes, but they're they're more versatile, right? So you, you would start to learn different moving patterns, right? This is called the alternating underhand sneak. That's gonna help you. It's gonna help teach you. Um, it's gonna improve your running technique. It's gonna help you become more explosive. It's gonna improve your agility. It's gonna improve your balance. For all those reasons, this is one thing that I wish someone taught me years ago. Um, you know, I'm ten times better than I was ten years ago playing D1 soccer. I'm ten times better now just from using um, this RMP rope. So. You know, any local hardware store will have some rope and it'll really help you. Um, right, I noticed my juggling improved after I started doing this, my, which improved my passing, my shooting, um, even my dribbling improved. Everything got better when I started using this rope. So if you've got limited, amount of, limited amounts of time, you could start going in, back and forth between RMT rope, right, RMT rope and kick trainer. The other thing that I would really recommend is just just bring a tennis ball with you everywhere you go bringing a tennis ball is going to allow you to just to juggle get some touches right each touch you're going to get a deeper understanding of where how the ball moves in reaction to how you're striking it so you know even some thigh touches um juggling with the foot right all the best not all the best jugglers are the best players but all the best players are always the best jugglers so juggling Bringing a ball with you everywhere you go is going to unlock your ability to juggle more, have more fun playing soccer. So um, my question is, can I spend one minute a day using using a kick trainer, an RMT rope, or juggling? So hopefully this helps. Reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.